So after the US Open, this is the biggest event on the calendar. The Asian Swing has well and truly started, and it's Beijing. One of the biggest tournaments, probably the biggest tournament on the Asian Swing, especially because it's got 96 players playing, and it's a really big draw. But let's go see who's not playing, because massive names have pulled out. Okay, so a very long withdrawal list, and a lot of these players on this list are not going to play for the rest of the season. Azarenka, she's pulled out. Buzkova has also pulled out. Kastea has also pulled out. Danielle Collins has pulled out, and she is in the race to the finals. So a big miss there to get to points. Garcia... Jabur have also pulled out, both not playing for the rest of the year. Noskova, Pliskova have also pulled out. Rabakina has also pulled out, which is a big shame there due to a back injury, so she won't be playing. Zachary's not playing. Svetolina also not playing. Igish Fiontek, the defending champion, also out of this event. Wondrusova, Wozniacki, and Zhu have also pulled out of this event. So one of the longest withdrawal lists that we've had all season, and some key names in there, including the defending champion, Fiontek. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here, and we've got 32 seeds in this one because it is a 1,000 event and the two-week 1,000. Everyone gets a buy in the first round, starting with Sabalenka. Number one seed, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll play a qualifier in the second round because you've got two qualifiers going at it. Then you've got Wong taking on Kruger. Winner of that will take on the 29th seed, Sun, in the second round. Then you've got the 18th seed, Keys, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either the wild card Go or a qualifier. Then you've got another qualifier versus the wild card Way. Winner of that will take on the number 13 seed, Adaj Maya. So a lot of qualifiers in this part of the draw. A lot of locals as well. A lot of players from China in this section, but also some players in form. So you've got to watch out for Sabalenka, of course the US Open champion. Also a Daj Maya who just won a tournament last week. So she's going to be in really good form. Also got to watch out for Keys. Hasn't been really good lately, mainly due to injury, but we know how good she can be at her best. And also watch out for Sun as well, who of course made her name at Wimbledon. Really interested to see how she plays in that third round against Sabalenka potentially. All right, next section of the draw, you've got the number 11 seed Samsonova gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either the wild card Yo or Bookshire in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Cochioretto. Winner that will take on the number 24 seed Mertens in the second round. Then you've got the 30th seed Yuan, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Blinkova or Mukova in the second round. Then you got Bondaire taking on Christian. Winner of that will take on the number seven seed and Wimbledon champion Krajikova in the second round. Very interesting section of the draw because there are dangerous unseated players in this section. Of course, you got to watch out for Krajikova. You got to watch out for Samsonova as well. But I'll also watch out for Mukova. She was so good at the US Open, and it feels like if she's healthy, she could possibly win this section of the draw and have a meeting with Sabalenka down the track. So really interesting section of this draw, and keen to see who gets out of it. All right, next section of the draw. You got number three seed Paolini. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Dart or Towson in the second round. Then you got Uchiyama taking on She. Winner of that will take on number 31 seed Lynette in the second round. Then you got the 17 seed Andreva. She'll take on either the wild card Ma or Bagu in the second round. Then you got Golovich taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on the number 16 seed Vekic in the second round. Very interesting section again. No qualities in this section. A few wild cards, but really open section. You've got Paolini there, of course. You've got to watch out for her. She has been so good this year. Probably the most improved player of the season. Also got to watch out for Vekic. Really good over the last couple of weeks and couple of months. Also got to watch out for Andreva. Hasn't been great since the French Open, but on a hard court that's a little bit quick, this could be something that suits her style. And also watch out for Lynette. One of the older players in this section, but very capable of having a run as well. So the seeds in this section are definitely the ones to watch out for. Next section of the draw, you've got number nine seed Kazakina. She gets to buy in the first round. She'll take on either wild card Wong or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Osorio taking on Tomanovic. Winner of that will take on the 19th seed Pavlyuchenko in the second round. Then you've got the 25th seed Yastremska gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either the wild card Ren or Podoroska in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Raducanu. Winner of that match will take on the number five seed Zhang in the second round. So Raducanu versus Zhang could be a second round. That is a crazy matchup if we get it, especially being in China. Of course, everybody in China is all about Zhang at the moment. She's been so good in 2024. You've got to watch out for Zhang, of course. You've got to watch out for Kazakina as well. Just made a final last week in a 500 event. But you've got to watch out for Raducanu as well. Has been actually pretty decent this year at the smaller level tournaments. You know, she's made a lot of quarterfinals. She has got an injury, so you got to keep that in mind. But if she does get through that first round qualifying match, that match against Zhang is going to be an absolute blockbuster in that second round. And of course, this section of the draw will take on that Sabalenka section of the draw in the semifinals. So we could be getting a matchup between Sabalenka and Palini, possibly in a semifinal. Maybe Sabalenka versus Zhang in a semifinal. Maybe Sabalenka on Draver. If on Draver can come good. If you don't think Sabalenka's going to make it, maybe you want to go something different like Palini taking on Krajikova. Rematch to that Wimbledon final, maybe you want to go with Zhang versus Krajikova to mix it up again. But it feels like the top seed should get through this section because there aren't too many low-ranked players and not too many unseeded players that are super dangerous besides that couple that I mentioned in that top half. All right, bottom half of the draw now. I've got number eight seed, Ostapenko gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Avanesian or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Sigmund. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed, Siniakova, in the second round. Then you've got the 20th seed, Fernandez, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Monero or Stearns in the second round. 
second round. Then you've got Grocheva taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on the number 10 seed, Kalen Skaya, in the second round. Again, this section seems really open. I mean, the seeds, the top seeds there, very dangerous, but some of them are not being in good form lately. So maybe there is a chance that qualifier or maybe even one of the unseeded players can get through. But you've got to watch out for Ostapenko. You've got to watch out for Kalen Skaya. Obviously, Fernandez as well can play really well on the hard courts. But I'd also be watching out for Stearns as an unseeded player. Very, very dangerous and can make a run. And also Avanesian as well, who's been good at times this year as unseeded players. So very dangerous players there potentially for those top seeds. Next section of the draw, you've got the number 14 seed Kostruk. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Volley Nets or Stevens in that second round. Then you've got Bronzetti taking on Osaka. Winner of that match will take on the number 21 seed Putin Seba in the second round. Then you've got the 26 seed Bolter. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Treveson or Townsend in that second round. Then you've got Burrell taking on Dollarhide. Winner of that will take on the number four seed Goff in the second round. Really keen to see how Osaka does in this section. Of course, I think she's the biggest name in this section, apart from Goff, that everybody's going to be worried about. But of course, you got to watch over Goff in this section. you got to watch over Kostruk. Also, Putin Seva has been really, really good this year at times. But the big one is Osaka. you got to watch over name Osaka. Not a bad draw for her. If she can get through those first couple of rounds, maybe meet Goff in that fourth round. Okay, next section of the draw, you've got the number six seed, Navarro. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either the wild card Zong or Kessler in the second round. Then you've got Minim versus Erica on Draver. Winner of that will take on the number 28 seed, Potapova, in the second round. Then you've got the 23rd seed, Frere, who just won a title not too long ago. She'll take on either Wong or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Kennan versus Bogdan. Winner of that match will take on the number 12 seed, Schneider, in the second round. Really interested to see this section because, of course, there are those couple of dangerous unseated players, but the seeds in this one, there's a big opportunity here to make possibly a quarterfinal of a 1,000 for one of these players. So you've got to watch Evan Navarro. Obviously been really good this year, and Paolini hadn't done back-to-back -back Grand Slam finals. You would say maybe Navarro is the most improved player of the year, but it's hard to say over Paolini, of course. Schneider, of course, you got to watch over her. She's been very dangerous on all surfaces all season. And Sophia Cannon, you can't overlook her. She's been in great form on hard courts at certain times in her career, so really got to watch over her. And also watch over Frere, the 23rd seed, who just won her first title a couple of weeks ago. And the bottom section, the draw, possibly the most stacked section of the draw. You got the number 15 seed, Bedosa. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Sharenko or Tomova in the second round. Then you got Kalanina versus Pera. Winner of that match will take on the number 22 seed, Alexandrova, in the second round. Then you got the 32nd seed, Kudamatova. She'll take on either Anisimova or Wong in that second round. Then you got Parry versus a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on the number two seed, Jessica Pagula. This is the hardest section, I reckon. It's, I mean, you got Pagula and Bedosa, very, very dangerous players, but they might not make it out of this because it's such a stacked, unseated draw as well. You gotta watch over Pagula, you gotta watch over Bedosa, gotta watch over Alexandrova, who's very good on fast hard courts. Also, Kudamatova played really well this time last year, but then you gotta watch over Anisimova. Very much proven on the on the hard courts, especially the faster hard courts. We know what she can do. Of course, this quarter of the draw will take on that Goff quarter of the draw, so potentially we could be getting Pagula versus Goff in the semifinals. If you don't think it's going to be Goff, maybe you think it's going to be Pagula versus Ostapenko in the quarterfinals. Maybe Pagula versus Kalinskaya in the quarterfinals. If you don't think it's going to be Pagula, maybe you want to go with Goff versus Navarro. Maybe Goff versus Bedosa in the semifinals. If you don't think it's going to be Goff, maybe you want to go with something like a Kalinskaya versus Schneider in the semifinals. If you want to go something a little bit more random. But there it is. That is the draw for China, and it's going to be a huge draw. Of course, the defending champion's not going to be here. Rebacken is not going to be here, but still, it's going to be a very big event. Who do you reckon's going to win this one? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go with Sabalenka in this one, just because, of course, you know, she's just won two massive tournaments in Cincinnati and US Open. Fast hard court. She's also very good at this time of year, if you've looked over her career. Played really well, especially at this event in the past. But there it is. The China Open starts on Wednesday.